Today I'm going to show you 14 settings I changed after installing Graphene OS on my phone. These settings range from usability settings all the way to security. It's also that time of the year where I can guarantee this video will be basic. You might be wondering how I can guarantee that. This is a chocolate covered pumpkin spice flavored pretzel. According to social understanding, I'm now basic. So the phone I'm setting this up on is a Pixel 4a. The only thing I've done on the phone after reinstalling Graphene OS is walk through the initial setup wizard. Other than that, everything is stock after the install. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the battery percentage. This comes turned off by default on most OSs, including iOS. I tried it for a few days without it, and I thought I would be okay living on the edge judging by a few pixels how much battery I had left, but I was not. So to do that, we're going to swipe up, go into settings, going to click on battery, and enable a battery percentage. The next few settings all take place in the display section. So let's hit the back arrow and go to a display. The first one on here I'm going to do is enable dark theme. This is a preference, I prefer dark. The next feature we're gonna turn on is night light. This is the feature that turns your phone screen amber at night to make it a little bit easier on your eyes in dark settings. We're gonna select night light, select schedule, you can turn on from sunset to sunrise, but that uses your location data. So I'm just going to do a, turn on at a custom time. 10 p.m., 6 a.m. works good for me. Hit the back arrow. The next one is adaptive brightness. Go ahead and select that. We're going to enable that. This setting uses the photovoltaic sensor on your phone to adjust the screen brightness depending on the location you're in. If you're outside and the sun's out, the screen will get brighter. If you're indoors, the screen will be dimmer. Let's hit the back button and select advanced. I also like to enable auto rotate. This will make it so that when your phone is sideways, the screen will also rotate. I find this most useful when I am watching videos. So once we have that enabled, we're gonna scroll down a little bit further to the lock screen setting at the very bottom, select lock screen, and now select notifications on lock screen. So if you have a pin set on your phone or a fingerprint, which you should, this should be selected by default, show sensitive content only when unlocked. You don't want to reveal too much content if someone grabs your phone from you or someone is being nosy and looking over your shoulder. So the next one we're going to enable is the show lockdown option. So normally when you hold the power button down, you're presented with emergency, power off, and restart. Once you enable this setting, the center button is replaced with a lockdown option. So what this button does is it will disable the fingerprint sensor, smart lock, and notifications on the lock screen. This is useful if you're in a sketchy situation and need to lock down your phone quick without powering it off. So once that button is selected, the fingerprint sensor no longer works and you need to manually enter the pin code. So this next one is also just a preference of mine, the always show time and info. So when that's selected, it kind of gives you a ghost display when your phone is locked instead of just a black screen. This is a feature I always liked about Android that iOS does not have, so I enable it. It does use a little bit more battery power, around 8-10% to more per charge cycle from what I've seen, but this battery already lasts an insanely long time, so it's not a huge trade-off. So I do leave tap to check phone on and lift to check phone on so that the screen will light up if I tap it or lift it up. I do turn off the wake screen for notifications though because I don't want my phone blowing up or lighting up every time I get a message. So that's the last setting we're going to change in this area, so you can go ahead and hit back hit back again. And the next one we're going to change is change the keyboard to the dark theme. Just to give you an example, if we go into the browser and you want to type something, even though we have the dark theme enabled on the phone, the keyboard hasn't changed. Honestly, I found this was kind of annoying. The setting was a little bit tough to find, but once you make the change, you shouldn't have to adjust it again. So we're going to go back into settings, scroll down to system, language and input, on-screen keyboard, select the Graphene OS keyboard, select appearance and layouts and then on this screen select theme change it from material light to material dark and now if we go back to the browser we can see the keyboard is now dark themed so this is about to sound like an infomercial for this feature it's simple but i think it's highly underrated so hear me out the most secure state for encrypted data is at rest after you unlock your phone this data has been decrypted and is accessible yes the data is also protected by your pin but after you unlock your device for the first time after a reboot, a lot of these encryption keys are stored in quick access memory. This makes it much easier for attackers or law enforcement, also known as attackers, to gain access to those keys and potentially use them to access your data. 
Auto Reboot will help protect you if your phone is lost, stolen, or confiscated at traffic stop. Law enforcement will typically place your device in a Faraday bag, so it has no reception to any sort of wireless signals remotely, and they will also connect it to a battery so it doesn't shut off and return the device to that pre-first unlocked state. Auto Reboot mitigates this threat by rebooting after you haven't unlocked your device for the specified period of time. This returns your device to that pre-first unlock state. So while your phone is sitting in a Faraday bag connected to a battery after being taken by TSA, you can feel confident while being detained, your phone will auto reboot after that selected period of time. One quick side tip, this is why you should always turn off your devices before going through TSA at the airport. So to change this setting, we're gonna go back to the main settings screen, scroll down, select security, select auto reboot. Personally, I select 12 hours so the phone doesn't reboot while I'm sleeping but as you can see, there's a lot of options to choose from. Also, while we're on the screen, I'm going to disable enable native code debugging. I prefer to leave this off. The less logs, the better. That goes for everything in life. Next, let's select pin scrambling. Turn on scramble pin. Most of the time, you'll probably be using the fingerprint sensor to unlock your phone, but for the times you don't, you wanna make sure someone can't determine what your pin is based on the areas of the screen that you press. You can see here, the numbers are scrambled in a different places, so it's not the traditional one, two, three, four, five, six layout. And now the last setting that I change is the quick access menu. So we're gonna swipe down, we're gonna pull down again to expose the quick access menu. Click a little pencil here. I'm gonna set this up quick, and I'm gonna explain after why I set it up this way. So here's the way that I set it up. Leave this on the screen for a second so that you can copy it or pause the video so you can copy it if you want. So now if we swipe down, we can see all of these icons that are here are related to something that can decrease my privacy on the device. So I like to be able to see at a quick glance, you know, did I forget to turn my GPS off? Is my Bluetooth broadcasting? Is NFC on? Otherwise, if you need to go into the phone settings and verify each of these individually, that can be kind of time consuming. So at any time throughout the day, I can just swipe down, see where I'm at. You know, the rest of the icons are gray. We only have Wi-Fi on. We're at a good spot. Usually also mobile data will be on, but I don't have a SIM card in this phone, but the rest of the settings should be off. The second pane, this is really preference. I have the flashlight there because I use it a lot along with screen record. Everything else, I just put them there so that it's all filled up.